Hello everyone, today I'm so excited because we're gonna be doing a full face of House Labs. I have been really excited to try the rebrand of House Labs, like this is not new at this point, like. <laughs> It's been a while since they've rebranded from like the Amazon launch That was the initial start of the brand and even some of the older palettes that came out and since they've gotten into Sephora And kind of revamped their image come out with a whole new core line of products I have been excited to try them, but I just haven't done it yet because they are they're a little bit pricey I believe they're clean beauty, but you know, they're a little bit pricey, but they look nice The formulas seem really nice. I've heard so many good things. So we're gonna do like a full face I got I got a lot here. Okay we have the foundation. I had so many recommendations for this, like to try it out when the sale was going on. And you know, I was thinking of content ideas. I was like, what do I want to do? And I was like, you know, I've been wanting to try House Labs for so long. So I thought ahead preemptively and bought this so I could get the discount on it. Because again, like I said, it's kind of pricey. We have a new powder. This is the translucent bio blurring loose setting powder. We're gonna try that. I have the bronzer. I did pick up the blush before all of this. And that was another reason I was really excited to try some more stuff from House Labs because I do think this is a really good formula of a blush. So I was like, it's time to dive all the way in. You know what I mean? I picked up two different highlighters and I have to say like, I love the packaging. I feel like in Sephora, when you see all the other gondolas, you see all the other displays, like the packaging doesn't really stand out, but now having it isolated, I love this kind of minimal yet colorful thing, like with the stickers and stuff. It's very nice, very luxe. I really like it. I picked up two eyeliners. I have three different lip products. One of them, this Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer. That's so hard to say. I've seen some really cool videos with this so we just have so much to try we're gonna get into it naturally I don't have a primer so I'm just using a primer I know really well if I have any left wow look at this it's on the fritz this is the first aid beauty coconut smoothie primer I love this thing I'm just gonna put that down just for some moisture just so I got a little glide to my skin and then just in my pores I'm gonna use this elf one and that's really like right in this area that I'm trying to smooth. All right, let's start off with the Triclone Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation. Full thing. So medium coverage, my shade match right now, guys. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to act, okay? I'm usually like the fairest thing, like the fairest shades, and I try to get either a warm tone or a neutral tone. Usually a neutral tone if I can go for it because sometimes warm tones are just like yellow and I'm not that, you know, warm toned. But since I've been so tan, that is not working out for me anymore. So now I'm just like, <laughs> it's a guessing game. But hopefully this will be good. Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. This is the bottle. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Like I said, I'm not on the ball with this, but this is 110 light neutral. So instead of going like fair neutral, I went light neutral and we're gonna see. I love the glass bottle. This retails for $45. That's what the shade looks like. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, I love trying new makeup, it's so fun. I have a freshly cleaned sponge. I'm gonna go sponge today because I feel like I always get the best application with a sponge. And we're gonna see how it goes. Even if this is like slightly too dark, I think it's still gonna look really nice and match my body at this point. I like it so far. Like, you know, I know it's like a first impression, all this stuff, or a lot of it will be, but it is blending out nicely. I don't see it picking up on anything. Although I will say, I think my skin's in decent condition right now. I'm gonna try to do like about half of my face. Okay, let me zoom you guys in. First impressions, I feel like it's very lightweight. Like I don't really feel it at all on my skin. I also think it looks super skin-like. This is almost what I thought the makeup by Mario was gonna be more like, you know? Um, that's kind of the vibes. <laughs> um, I think it looks really good. Definitely medium coverage. So I'm getting like some coverage, but you can still see some redness popping through. It's definitely not covering all my skin, which I like. I like that look. I recently was out of town and I'm gonna be going out of town very soon again. And doing your makeup in a new space, let me tell you, shows all the cracks in your foundation. Not like actually your foundation, but I just mean it shows, what am I trying to say? It shows the ways that maybe your foundation could be better or like not even just foundation, your routine, your makeup routine could be better because you're in different lighting, you know? I almost feel like in Arizona, the lighting is like a different, tone if that makes sense like it's as if my life was edited with a different filter in california and then i go to arizona and the filter has changed and i'm like oh crap time to adjust like gotta adjust some things but so far i'm really loving it 
I'm out of foundation on my hand and I want a little bit more and that was two pumps. I find when I first use a foundation, I always end up using more and then with time, I kind of figure out how I can ration it a little bit better and get the kind of same coverage I want. So I'm sure it's kind of the same with this one. I'm pretty sure I did too. Maybe it was just one pump, but I'm just gonna see how I can kind of build it up, especially on my cheeks. I have so much redness on my cheek, but it looks really natural. like really, really skin-like. I really love that about it. All right, foundation is fully on. You definitely can see a nice glow coming from it, but like I said, it doesn't feel super heavy. I guess I got a little bit of transfer, so I'll keep you guys updated with that. I feel like the color looks really nice. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. It's a little bit, it feels dark, but I just think that I'm not used to me having more of a tan. And also my hair just recently got dyed. It's shorter. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw it first. But whenever right after I bleach my hair, I always am just like thrown off with how colors look and all that too. So there's a lot of like color relativity going on on my face, which I'm gonna actually, let's put my hair back a little because another thing with like the hair, like blonde hair, you have to be careful you don't get product all in it because you can see everything. So far though, I'm really happy. I feel like, again, it looks really skin-like, like just healthy. My skin looks really healthy. I don't feel like it's doing my pores any favors, but I also don't think it's making them look any worse. So I feel like we're gonna be good once we put a powder on, which we have one and it's supposed to be blurring, which is exactly what I want. Before we do that, I am gonna add just a little bit of concealer. I don't have a House Labs one. I don't know if they have a concealer. They do, I didn't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna put a little bit, which this is kind of not a little bit, it's kind of a lot, under my eyes and then I'm gonna use my sponge to blend out. And I'm just putting a little under my eyes. I'm not gonna really put anything anywhere else because I feel like I got enough coverage overall from the foundation and I really don't have any problem areas currently, which is amazing. Feeling grateful. Oh, that hairline, that's the worst part. It's like, how do you make sure your hairline matches everything. All right, let's set some of this down though because I don't have any other powder products to use. Everything for Color Cosmetics for the face is going to be powder. So I got the blurring powder in the translucent color because I thought that would be best. I do tend to prefer a loose setting powder, so I'm very excited about this one. The packaging on this, um, I thought this was gonna feel maybe a little bit heavier. I would say overall, I do get good packaging from them. Like it feels luxe and nice. So I'm just using a big powder brush. This is one of those ones with like a net in the middle, kind of like that, what's that one from Tarte? Oh yeah, and then it has like a stopper on the lid but I'm just gonna, <laughs> I usually use the lid to kind of like get and work some powder into my brush so that way when I go and tap it on, we're not just tapping a blob of powder in one area, you know, hopefully. And I'm mostly just gonna hit the center of my face. Definitely seems blurring so far. Yeah, so far that's nice, like I think it looks good. Zoom you in. I feel like it took the shine down obviously because it's a powder, but you know, my pores, it's pretty, Nice looking, definitely got a little bit of a blur going on. So far so good with the powder. I don't feel like it's anything magnificent at the moment, but I'll really get a good idea on if this like holds up throughout the day. All right, next we're going into bronzer. I picked up, oh man, this is probably a mistake. I picked up the shade light level two instead of the lightest shade. Cause I was like, what if I'm so dark that the lightest bronzer doesn't work for me, but I think that's a little delusional. Let's see. So the compact's very similar to the blush. This is brown though, like kind of bronze colored. And then it's like matte finish on the front. Whereas this is like all silver. Ooh, this is the color. Actually, I think that's gonna work nice. I'm gonna swatch a little bit. So this is like a heavy swatch. I'm trying to decide if this has a little bit of shimmer to it. And I want to say it's almost like a satin finish, which has me so excited. And the color seems like it'll be nice as well. It's almost kind of neutrally, like it's not looking too warm or like orange. I'm gonna use my Jones Road bronzer brush. I'm just going in. It seems like one I don't have to be extremely careful with, like from the swatch. It seems like definitely pigmented, but you know how some things are just like, gotta be really careful. This one seems like you could actually just dip your brush in and you could build it up at least a little. Okay, I really like this color. And I just like to do a pretty soft bronze. Like my bronzer kind of sculpts a little. It just kind of brings back some dimension to my face. 
and I really, really love the color. Like I'm telling you, I think a lot of the products, like the powder products are actually talc free, which is definitely like depending on your allergies or what you're looking for. I know that that can definitely be a selling point and makes them different than a lot of other brands. So that's kind of cool. I really try to make sure I get that bronzer in my hairline so you don't have that awkward, very awkward gap. Like we do not want to mind the gap <laughs> in terms of your bronzer going into your hairline, okay? We don't want that. No one wants that. Okay, so far bronzer killing it, at least so far right now to me. I hope that, you know, on playback, I'm not playing myself or this bronzer isn't playing me, but I really love the bronzer so far. And I wasn't expecting to love this this much, <laughs> to be completely frank. I mean, not that I thought I'd hate it, but damn. It looks good. It looks so good. Super easy to use, super easy to blend. Love the tone of this color as well. So I picked the right shade is all I know. Light level two is really working out for me. For blush, they have new blushes. There are, I think there are five different colors. I have the shade Pomelo Peach and there are also some really bright, beautiful colors. It's like a dragon fruit. There's like that kind of baby hot pink that's so popular right now some really just juicy colors, but this one's just nice and easy. I decided to pick one because this is a matte blush that I felt was the easiest and most likely for me to wear. So um, this is what I'm gonna go on with today. I already know I like this blush and I even like that it's matte. I'm a shimmer girl through and through, but this is definitely one of those kind of mattifying blurring blushes. So if you're into that kind of look, I think you're gonna like this. It has nice pigmentation, but again, still really easy to use. I feel like it's a nice, happy medium where I don't think you have to like build and build and build, but also you're not necessarily gonna just like put way too much on every time either. But the color's there, really pretty. I wanna see some shimmer blushes so badly. All right, love the look so far. Now, I couldn't pick between two highlighters, you guys, so I have two here. I picked up the shades Rose Quartz and Peach Quartz. Ooh, and this packaging's like opalescent. It's really cute. I love that they match, but also you can tell what is what more, you know? Ooh, okay, maybe I just bought the shimmer blush, which is really like a highlighter, but could be a blush for me. So this one is Rose Quartz. This one is Peach Quartz, which is so pretty. So here we have Rose Quartz, stunning. I think that's gonna look really good on like super easy, simple days. And it's kind of like your blush and highlighter in one. And then Peach Quartz, which is definitely the one I'm gonna use today. That one is kind of a golden champagne, but I think it has a little bit of like shimmer running through it. It almost has like a bronziness to it too. So I'm gonna do this one today. We will do the rose at some point, but I'm gonna use a more dual fiber brush. I've really been loving this one from Kaleidos for a more diffused look. So that's what I'm gonna try today. Oh yeah, we're getting some shine for sure. And I feel like it's layering over the other powders really nicely. Sometimes, you know, layering dry powders on top of each other. You don't get as much shine, but I think I'm pretty happy with how it's going on. And hopefully I'm not getting a cast. I'll have to see when I look back. I'm gonna zoom you in. Definitely picking up on some of my texture, but that's not like abnormal for a highlighter. I still think it's really pretty. I just have like texture here, you can see it. I feel like it looks better on this side, but I love the glow so far. I think it's really pretty. I really like it on my nose, especially. I think it's really pretty there. I'll have to kind of let it like sink into my skin. So I'm gonna do my brows and this is just my like normal routine. All right, brows are done. I didn't pick up any uh, eye products from the House Labs like as an eyeshadow because there aren't really any powder products. I know in the past the brand has come out with palettes, but that was really a part of the previous you know, launches and not really part of this new rebrand. And again, nothing that came into Sephora. They do have some liquid eyeshadows and those look cool, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling any of the colors. Maybe if I was in person, one would get me, but I decided to just go with some other eye products, which were the eye pencils. I'm so excited. I've been obsessed with this kind of chartreuse color and I had to try out their liner in it. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You knew I had to. So this is what the pencil looks like. It has like a little brush on one end, which is kind of cool actually, cause I have been enjoying using um, these types of products as little liners and like doing little wings. And then this is the color. I'm gonna have to look at it after I show you swatches. Oh yeah, that's nice. I just, a little acidy yellow green, get out. I love it. And the like pencil itself is kind of cool. It almost feels like compostable 
plastic like you know if you got to eat and they're like our forks are compostable kind of like that feeling the other one that i got is another green i got the olive shimmer i'm gonna break my nails trying to open this package <laughs> like i've done such a good job growing them out but they are gonna break today the olive shimmer is definitely darker and um has an actual shimmer to it whereas the chartreuse color is completely matte and kind of like a cream so i'm excited for both of those i love a shimmery eye pencil and so i think for this look i kind of want to go pretty simple and have like the liner the chartreuse liner be like obviously the pop and the fun so i think that's what we're gonna do and then i think i'm gonna bring my palette in you know, it's time. It's time to talk about my palette, you guys. If you don't know, I have a collab palette with Odin's Eye. It's a part of a larger collection with two other influencers, Betty Jean and Amanda, makeup just for fun. I thought it'd be fun to bust my palette out today. So I think I'm gonna use that. First, I'm gonna prime my eyes though. That palette is still available. It's the last amount. So whatever's in stock is all that will be in stock. So you guys can check that out. I do have a code with Odin's Eye as well does not work on the palettes, but it does work on anything else you might wanna pick up if you're thinking about it. And as always, thank you to everyone who has purchased already. I am so happy you guys are loving it so much and obviously no pressure ever, but it's beautiful and we're gonna use it today. So I think I kinda just wanna put Smoky Pearl just all over my lid, like that's it. <laughs> I just primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot. I don't know if I said that. So I'm just going to tap that into my look. I want an eye that is gonna be kind of interesting, but also that will go along with a red lip or a neutral lip, so I think this might be the moment. And I'm just tapping it. This one has a lot of shimmer in it, so it has a little bit of like almost a taupey purple base with silver and gold shimmer in it, and so it diffuses really nicely on its own. And we'll see how that liner goes on top of a shadow. The thing I didn't realize is once you get nails, putting on eyeshadow with your fingers becomes uh, a different situation. <laughs> it's a different thing. All right, I'm gonna use the chartreuse on my lids. I don't know if I want an inner corner. I kind of want to try a wing with it though. That was actually pretty easy to do. And I feel like it's pretty dang opaque over the product or the eyeshadow, I mean. And there's always that little brush, I guess. I didn't even really need the brush. Okay, I kind of like that. <laughs> I kind of like just that. I also have the chartreuse in my own palette, which I kind of want to like tap over or maybe I'll just put it in my inner corner, like buff it really lightly. This is the shade Electric Kelp. And it's kind of like a satin, so it has this kind of like slight sheen to it that's really pretty gives it like a soft glow i really love that i feel like all my videos have used a chartreuse lately i cannot get away from that color all right i really like that i'm gonna use a little bit of the olive just on the lower lash line in the outer corner honestly just to try it and then i'm gonna blend out with my finger i feel like the brush on that one like i don't dislike it necessarily but i also it's not necessarily for smudging. I feel like it's more for detail work, you know, cause it's more like a liner brush. I feel like the olive I don't love as much. And I feel like that's just color. Like the chartreuse color is just so unique. And I think that's why I really like it. I'm gonna put a little bit of the peach quartz on my brow bone. And I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm just using the Make Waves from Tower 28. Okay, I'm obsessed with the eye look. I feel like these colors seem like they wouldn't go together. Maybe like, you know, it's kind of like, girl I, I was even questioning myself to be honest but i think that the slight purpley undertones in this and then like the slight yellowy undertones in the green just become this really cool mix like they complement each other but it's kind of weird but actually really flattering at least to me and my eyes i really like it so this is the eye look oh i'm all the way zoomed in okay <laughs> this is the eye look i love that it's just kind of like a pop and then the complimentary green on the inner corner. I think that works really well. And it was super, like, I thought it was gonna be hard to do the wing. It was so simple. I don't know if I'll be able to recreate it once I sharpen it, but I 
think so. I think I should. And they're the type of liner that lock down, which is great as well. So hopefully that lasts me all day. I really like it. Now let's do lips. That's the, the final boss, I guess, of this uh, full face. I have three different lip products. I am so excited. We're gonna do the Atomic Shake Lip Lacquer. Oh my gosh, last, but I also got a high pigment paint. <gasps> No, I did get one. I thought this was a lip product this whole time. I'm so annoying. Are you kidding me? I, oh my God, I'm so annoying. I literally thought that this was like a nude lip product. And I was like, oh, okay, I must've got a nude lip one, an oil, and then the red. No, I did pick up one of the paints. One of the colors did call to me, obviously. I'm a liar. Okay, well, this would have looked just as good, um, but I guess I used my palette instead. Um, this is the shade Rose Gold, is the one I ended up getting. Oh, that is pretty. There's definitely lots of sparkle in it. I'm so sorry that this is not on my eyes right now, guys. Oh, annoying. I'm so annoying. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoying. I'll get back to you on that one. Um, sorry about that. Rose gold has lots of sparkle in it. I'm excited to see how that like locks down, how that wears. So I'll, I'll get back to you. Well, in that case, we have two lip products, two lip products. I decided to pick up one of the oils. This is the PHD hybrid lip oil. This says tint on it. And I think this is one of those like pH changing ones. We all know lip oils are all the rage. So I just wanted to try theirs and just kind of know I kind of in the back of my mind have a lip oil video at some point. We'll see when because it's one of those things where it's like the lip oils I feel like are never going to stop coming. So when, when you make the video, you know, um, I'm going to try to rub off some of my foundation lips, but kind of is what it is. The doe foot is like large, but not like the biggest. And you can already see the tint kind of forming. This feels nice. It's kind of like a pretty standard, no taste, no smell. It's not sticky, it's glossy feeling. It feels comfortable, definitely giving me that hot pink lip, but nice and juicy too. I like the shine level, so that's the lip oil. I think it's pretty nice, but I think it's kind of, I think it's like in the almost $30 range. It's kind of a lot, but I like the color. I used to hate this like hot pink, but it's pretty trendy now. And I also feel like this one almost looks like dragon fruit colored. Like it's not hot pink, but it's also not quite purple. It's like right in between. It's pretty. All right, but let's try the lip shake. I'm telling you, I've seen people kiss glasses and stuff while their lips are all shiny looking, but they don't transfer. It's like this shiny liquid lipstick, I think. Very intrigued. This is a level of stain I have after just like that brief period of time. I feel like it's not too much, but definitely still there. All right, for this product, this is the Atomic Shake Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. It's a revolutionary, clean, transfer proof liquid lipstick that delivers high impact color with a glossy vinyl finish. Mm. And it lasts all day, must shake well. Once applied with lips separated, allow 15 seconds to activate transfer proof shine shield. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I wanted to make sure I read the, the instructions because I was pretty sure there were some. I picked up the shade Red Coral Shine because I love a uh, red, corally hot uh, lip color. Like I love it. And I think it's gonna look so fun with this color. So we're gonna shake it. <laughs> it doesn't really sound like anything shaken up. Oh, there we go. It's like a nail polish. I'm like paranoid. Um, oh, oh, it's gloopy in there. Look at this. Oh, now it's not. The, my first thing was kind of like a little gloopy paint action. Okay, I'm getting a little wild. Okay, <laughs> let's try this on. Lips apart, don't touch those babies together. Okay, I don't know guys. <laughs> I feel like I have the teeth things in, you know, and you're whitening your teeth. I don't know how people act like everything's normal all the time. I don't want to swallow all that like, sit, <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, let's just dry on, stop talking. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Let me show you what's going on. Color, love it, beautiful. One thing I noticed when I was putting it on, the gloopiness, right? It's like almost like an acrylic paint, you know? And like you're like sat for a while and you're like, oh shit, there's globs in here. Kind of had that thing going on. And I don't know if I just didn't shake it enough. I was trying to shake it well. So right now it's, it's dry. Like nothing's coming off, but it has that shine, which I think is so cool. 
Um, but it kind of looks like my lips are pleather lips, you know, like over here, it's starting to peel already. Like it went on kind of gloopy. I don't know. Like, look, it's like my lips have been cracking in the pool. I don't know. It's like a, sh a bad quality shoe, you know, that's vegan leather. What's that in here? Uh, okay. I'm going to take. Okay. I also was feeling like I couldn't like get it on fast enough. It was like starting to dry already. So I'm gonna just take off a majority of this really fast. Try again, I'm gonna shake it up. It felt really comfortable. It didn't feel like dried. Like I, I was like, is it dry yet? But, oh, the, the kind of gloop. It's like, I feel like I have shiny acrylic paint on, but it doesn't necessarily feel like it, but it looks like it which is probably worse. Like I'd almost rather it feel like acrylic paint and look amazing than feel great but look horrible. So let me, I don't know if this is just old. Maybe, you know, this has come out a while ago. Maybe something about that. I don't know, guys. I, Cause I can, it's so hard to get the ball going. All right, round two, let's go. Damn it, they all lied. They lied. Or their lips, uh, maybe it works for them. I don't know. This color is stunning though. I love it with this eye look. <laughs> I saw videos of people using this lip product and it looked great. And they're like, look. Look at what? Look at what? It just dries so fast, which is great. Again, it's supposed to like, it feels soft, but my lips look like, Literally curdled color. What the fuck, y'all? No! It's bad. It's really bad. It's really bad. I'm so sorry. Look at this. If you go too hard, look! <laughs> this is nightmare fuel, dude. Like, uh-uh. No. If you guys have made this work, this, let me know. Let me know how you make it work. I'm. <laughs> should I try to have this slip on for the thumbnail? It'll look good for a thumbnail, and that's my issue. I'm like, did it look good for a, a minute video? I think maybe, you know. But in real life, mm, I just look like the paint on a foam toy that's peeling off, you know? Like, that's what my lips look like. Like, my lips have been through it. My lips... Guys, it's bad. It's bad, bad, bad. Okay, you know those sugar puffy shoes that look like pool floaties also? Um, it's kind of like that, but after they're peeling and disgusting. I feel like my lips look like Silent Hill and I'm just gonna paint on top. It's so bad, it's so bad, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna talk to you with these disgusting lips. I'm so sorry, but it <laughs> seems appropriate. I'm gonna tell you some of my favorite products, like my top pick so far, first impressions, and my least favorite. I'm sure you cannot tell which the least favorite will be. JK, obviously, okay. Loving the bronzer, love it. I mean, I like all of the face products, but the bronzer and blush are definitely my favorite. The blush is really nice if you're looking for a matte one and want like a fun, bright color for uh, spring slash summer. The bronzer though, I just feel like luxury. It feels really nice. I feel like the price on it, to me anyway, feels worth it so far. Like, okay, I feel the quality of this bronzer for sure. Same with the foundation. Like I can feel the quality of the foundation. This is the thing though, the foundation's like $45. <laughs> it's escaping my mouth in ways that it shouldn't be. I've had to reframe how I talk and how I move my lips around. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to give you another close up. I have to scare you and your children. Look. Okay, anyway, I really, this is like the thing I was most excited for too. Um, but the foundation's $45 and I think the blushes are like 40. So it's like, you know, I mean, not that I wish that the foundation was more, but usually price-wise, I feel like that's not necessarily what's happening. But love that. The lip oil is pretty solid as well. The powder seems pretty solid as well. The highlighter also seems pretty solid. Okay. I wish so badly that I had been able to test this for you. I'm so sorry I didn't. I truly didn't think I picked this up. I thought it was a lip product. Kind of wish it was a lip product at this point. Eyeliners I like so far, but I think I really love it just for the uniqueness of color. So I would go with the Chartreuse Matte over the Olive. Like it's fine so far, but I just, you know, 
I think this is good. I'd rather have like a olive shimmery from like Urban Decay at this point, but this color is so unique, so pretty, love that. And then obviously stay the F away from this. Oh my gosh. Tell me though, if you've tried this, how do you make it work? I will try it. I will try it again. I know it's not gonna look, it's, it's bad, it's bad, it's so bad. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Is it because it's like older? Like I know it's not old, but like from release, maybe like at first launch, they're really good, but they have an issue with like, I, they have issues, we know that. I just don't get this, you guys. I swear I saw good stuff. I saw a little short that was like, look at this, and they kissed like a wine glass, and their lips were shiny, and nothing was coming off, and I got played, they lied to my face. It's horrible, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your favorite part product from House Labs while I get this paint off my lips and thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what brand you want me to do a full face with next. I think this is really fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, bye. Bye.